You are listening to the scientifically determined, yes, mathematically accurate, absolutely fully compliant with all international on this. Yes, fully compliant with all international standards and regulations, weights and measures. Five five hundredth episode of the Giant Bombcast. That's yeah! right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hi. They say episodes are just a number. But yeah, that's right. I don't know what else goes <laughs> with that. But that's, that's that Aaliyah song, right? But yeah, f- fucking five hundred episodes. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, but, give or take. That's a, yeah. I mean, the, the, the okay. So the RSS feed has <laughs> more than five hundred things in it. Yeah. Uh, but at some point, when we switched from dates to numbers, I went through and made judgment calls yeah. about like E three shows that are in there don't yeah. count, yeah. not yeah. canon. I, yeah. I, okay. I started trying to do that, and my indecision. Like there are so many, so many judgment calls. I just in went there. through and just went like, yeah, yes, no, yes, yeah. no, and because and... you know, like, like we would put up what somewhere between like five and eight things in that feed on a on right. an E three uh, week game of the year stuff game, go, game would go year, in there as well. Yeah. So yeah, there's so, uh, you know a, a fair number of additional yeah. things. Also, we also used to just cram like first couple of years we just put anything and everything in there exactly there's all these yeah. little one-off interviews <laughs> yeah and, like, there's a thing with casey hudson in there and, and right and yeah probably some uh, johnny v stuff th- yeah like, didn't uh, we have like uh gosh we had um it's the guy from call of du- the 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 right. community uh, manager from, from treyarch I yeah think, from treyarch came back by. back before he yeah. did some stuff and yes, i think it got right. drummed out of there that's right uh I was the bas- Yeah, he said forget, some shit. About I forget, the I forget basketball what it was. Guy, the, yeah, yeah, it was some real <laughs> dumb. Shit. That's the thing. This podcast has been going long enough for us to have forgotten most of it. Oh, uh, sure. that's. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. So two weeks then, basically. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. I've forgotten all the episodes from when I joined. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, so how does it feel, Ben? I mean, you know, five hundred of these wow, things. Yeah. Man, I can barely count to that number. <laughs> you were you were yeah, in like seventh seventh grade when we brought you on. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Dan- uh, yeah. Wow. Wow, what a ride it's been. Yeah. I mean, I think my favorite memory was um, last week. Uh-huh. <laughs> was yeah. good, good oh, yeah, that was, was a good one. It was, yeah, was a hot show. Yeah. It was a hot show last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's weird. I don't know. Like, it, it's, you know, we thought about, like, oh, this, like, big numbers coming up. You know, what do you... I, but the reality of it is, like, we do one of these things every week. Yeah. You know, it's kind of yeah. weird. Like, I don't like. You stop? Do you stop and go like, "Hey, we're the greatest"? Beat our chests Look about how rad we are, yeah. and like that's. It's, I, I mean, know. getting to five hundred, like, I can think of one other podcast, and I listen to a lot of podcasts. Mm-hmm. I can think of one other podcast that has more than five hundred episodes. Who is it? Because we're gonna fucking take them out. <laughs> we're gonna stop them. these. Who is it? It's, oh yeah, dude. I don't know who those go- yeah. they're going down. Oh no, yeah, no, we're taking them out they're for done. sure. Sorry, uh, Seth. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it, we're we're coming up on a lot of weird anniversaries around mm-hmm. the launch of the site and stuff, like the because we're coming up on the tenth year anniversary next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this year, that means there are a lot of like weird personal anniversaries mm-hmm. about the things that led to the creation <laughs> of this site. Sure, fans uh, of the site, will. fans of the site will remember that you know, come November, uh, that it'll be have been ten years since we needed to start a new website. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so I got some thoughts about how to do some stuff around then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We we started so you know, I got out uh, in November of '07. And I feel like it that but it was before I'd have to go back and look, uh, actually, but you know, it was we it was before the end of oh seven, I feel like we were already sitting down and starting to record podcasts for the thing we mm. knew would eventually be the thing. Yeah. Uh even though we didn't have I, I feel like it was like by that first episode of Arrow pointing down, first or second, like I was already collecting a paycheck from mm. Whiskey Media. Okay. Um did you count any of those? In the five hundred, I don't remember. Okay, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, like the, you know, scientifically the, yeah, accurate. Uh, scientifically accurate at the time, and and I then I immediately erased all my work, mm. uh, so that no one could go back and figure. Actually, you could probably work backwards <laughs> and figure out which ones I did and did not include. But um, weren't you? Didn't you and Ryan do some of those over Skype? We did. Like, yeah, even first, though you were in the yeah, same yeah, we town. were like a block away. <laughs> like, so it was easier with the gear we had. It was easier to record it over Skype mm. than to get like yeah, a USB local. mixer. Oh yeah, sure. And two good microphones. Uh, you know, and and so we started. Yeah, we we did a couple over Skype. Uh, and then we did a couple in my living room. Like I had, I so I had like one good wireless mic from when I was rapping. Uh, <laughs> of course, you have mic as, will travel as That's, one does. Those are the rules. Uh, when you were rhyming. Um, so I had that, and then we had like a USB, like a literally a fucking rock band mic. 
uh, like a branded rock band <laughs> okay. USB mic that came with one of the rock band band sure. packs. Yeah. And so we just kind of cobbled together whatever we could record with a laptop in the middle of the room and and recorded. I'm sure the audio quality holds up. Oh, yeah. I, well, that I mean, honestly, the thing was, especially back then, I, I think it's a little different now. I mean, like, like whatever podcasting is like a huge fucking business now. Yeah. Like then, but at the time it was very shoestring. Yeah, oh, yeah. totally. And, and I think know what podcasts because I mean, right? Jeez, that was we're talking like early '08. When did the hotspot start? Like '06, '05, '05. So like that's like even the hotspot was not that old at that point. Yeah. Well, it was though. It was really strange. So we did. It was. It wasn't last year. It was the year before that we went to that LA podcast festival. Yeah, was yeah. Two years yeah, ago, yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah. We went down there, and you know there was a lot of the the LA podcast. You know, Doug Benson did his show, yeah. and, uh, Marin, and the McElroys were there. McElroys, Marin, Marin was Mark was Marin. around there doing stuff. Yeah, and so a lot of like the, the kind of the LA comedy podcast scene was around there, and they they screened a podcast documentary. That, oh, right. That kind of implied that podcasting started in like. 2014 you know or, or like or, or 2009 Cereal, or, Cereal was the first podcast but, but they, yeah yeah the first, no but they, they were going back before that but they were like they were talking to people who were like well i started podcasting in like 2010 yeah. and they were treating like, like com- dinosaurs comedy bang wow. bang uh, was, yeah. Yeah. was pretty early in the scene I, and, but we started in but like I, the, the hot spot was 04 05 yeah. somewhere around I, there i don't re- like the hotspot introduced me to the idea or then the term podcast. Like I don't remember another yeah. podcast happening in games before. There well, may have been one. I but... want to say that, that IGN launched a podcast before we did, uh, because okay. we were slow to act. Like I mm. when when <laughs> I first when I first when Adam Curry first invented podcasts, uh, I wanted to do one immediately. I was yes. like awesome. Like I had done some stupid fucking radio uh with Ryan McDonald. And Glenn Rubenstein, uh, like years ago, uh, before like game spotting, like 92, 93. And it was terrible. It was awful. It was on some kid, like kids station. It was a really <laughs> religious station in Santa Rosa that mm-hmm. wanted to have some team friendly programming. So we came in and tried very hard not to swear. Uh, and then they picked <laughs> us off eventually when they changed format. But, uh, so I, I immediately wanted to do a podcast. I was like, that sounds super cool. MP3s. They're all the rage. Yeah. They're very hot. Uh, so I wanted to do one, but was like met with a little resistance in terms of like, we just didn't have the gear to uh, do it. And people were like, well, what's the return on the, you know? Uh, so it took me some time to get other people into it and, and, and try to get it off the ground. And I think eventually it was one of those things where I was like, Hey, we should do this. And then it came back around in, in the form of you guys should do a podcast. I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I want to say that IGN had started one okay. in, in that window. Okay, that's between very, me saying, yeah. hey, let's start a podcast okay. and us actually starting a podcast. So uh, it was right around. Every, everyone was kind of like like gaming was right, all right around the same time. With sure. That stuff, sure. I think. Um, then Rich Gallup would stand up. Exactly. For the entire Rich show. Would stand up on the sixth floor of this studio and stand, stand at that the microphone. entire time. It was amazing. The duration of the hotspot. Yeah. It gave him a commanding presence. Yeah. And also he needed to be able to see over the monitors and yes, stuff. That was, that that's there. a problem in this studio. Oh, yeah. it'd, be like, it'd be like if Jason was standing up now, yeah. but only like if the monitors were like way higher. Yeah. And I mean, I, I sat in that seat for the last couple of years before we came down here. And yes, you yeah. can barely see the people in that room yeah. over the uh, screens. But also the show was like an hour, hour and a half then. And, just, and that seemed to, long. Gotta let the diaphragm totally. expand. Yeah, yeah. There, there's yeah. definitely value in standing up to yeah. do vocal anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, like the, the first thing I knew when I got out of there was I wanted to do a podcast. And so Ryan and I started uh, recording one immediately. Like we didn't have a name, but we had just come off of a late night drunken like domain registering situation uh and he had registered arrow pointing down and dot com dot com how did nobody have that because because it was because it's why would it be arrow pointing because it it was that was before the like I feel like there's been a major uptick in buying yeah, funny domain sure. names. That's in the last too long. Five years. Domain. There's too I many letters so. in that yeah. thing. Uh, and, and, and also, yeah, the, the, the internet of 2008 was totally uh, quite different from now. That was 07. That was still. That was probably still 07. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I feel like that was in the run up to like Christmas 07 okay. uh, when we had a lot of time on our hands. Uh, and <laughs> that, so I know that was about the first time I started getting the internet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the internet's good. Well, uh, I mean, it was then <laughs> now less but uh originally we had registered that domain the two dumb jokes that we had kicking around at the time were uh this was and this was like i want to say this was right around the time that the impact font was getting solidified as okay. the meme font of choice okay 
but like it hadn't really gotten there yet. So sure. we were into like we were just going to write non like non sequitur stupid text on stupid images of ourselves. So we took a picture of me at E3 kneeling on a bed behind some dumb painting and then just wrote you can't beat 100 percent on it mm -hmm. and put that out there and then we got really into the dumb idea of like instead of like shirts that would have like you know i'm with stupid and like arrow pointing left or right yeah they would all be shirts that would have an arrow pointing down right so it would be i'm with stupid arrow pointing down <laughs> yeah uh and then just like it just i mean i can't even I don't even know if we ever recorded anything of us going through that because that was just like dumb idea after dumb idea of like all the stupid t-shirts we were going to try to make with an arrow pointing down on them. Uh, and then none of that came to pass because we gave a podcast and then we immediately had jobs again suddenly. And so none of that ever really came to be. But um, but yeah, you know, we we were doing a podcast before the site had a name. Mm -hmm. So the arrow pointing down thing was always a placeholder uh, for, or I feel like maybe like the first episode, it was always a placeholder for, for whatever the next thing was going to be. So actually figuring out the tech of like redirecting that RSS feed to the new site RSS feed and all that other stuff was like weird at the time. Um, but, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that was the, the main thing I wanted to do. And it's the main thing I still feel like the strongest about, I think, is just I just believe in podcasting. Yeah, I always have. And and so, you know, I view it as kind of like the the cornerstone of what we do, even though, you know, from a business perspective, it's it, it hasn't always been that way. Um, we've had and I was just thinking about it earlier, earlier today when we first came to CBS, uh, the podcast had no ads on it. That's it's a relatively recent yeah, addition. It's, ultimately, yeah, it's like the last three years, three years or something. Three and change. Um, and so, like, there, well after the fact that many other podcasts had switched to a ad. Exactly. Yeah. And and we tried a few things over the years. Like when we launched our premium subscription service, we we talked about splitting the podcast in half and having Man. like because it was two hours at the time. Is that all? It, really? I think so. Dude. Oops. How did this thing get so long? Because <laughs> just none of us shut up. Like, I, yeah, I guess you know, some of those, some of those early, the early, we enjoy doing it. Like, yeah. I, you know, it's like I, it's, I guess that first. I actually, I guess a lot of those first episodes were like an hour or something. Totally. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now there's a fourth hour after. That's the show. right. Yeah. Now we've started a second show <laughs> to add. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, but you know, but back then, like podcasting ads weren't proven the way they are now. So we had to figure out like, okay, well, what's, I mean, this is the most popular thing we do. We are not selling ads on the site. Like we're launching this premium thing. It makes sense for the podcast to kind of be wrapped up in that a little bit. And so we, we kind of looked at what, well, I, I think Jimmy Pardo at the time was running uh, a premium service where it was like the first 20 minutes of the show were free. Yeah. And then if you paid, you got the it rest. It was like basically up until a guest came in. Right, exactly. So you got like that initial burst of banter, uh, which was a great part of the show, but man, real, <laughs> real thin uh, in terms of like what you, what you would get for free. And that was a dramatic change, but like you looked at it and you're like, well, I mean, I, I like what Jimmy Pardo is doing enough to pay for this. Like, yeah. absolutely. So I, I signed right up. So we looked at that and, and thought like, okay, well, I think that we should probably look into splitting the podcast apart. We knew it wouldn't be popular. Uh, you know, people don't like change. People don't like paying for stuff like uh, all these things, but we felt like, well, you know, if we can't take the product we feel best about and say, Hey, maybe you should give us some money for it. Then what are we doing? Uh, so that's how we justify it to ourselves. Like the reaction was, was pretty bad in a way that like, actually it was, it was Mike Tatum who caved on it first. Yeah. I remember, um, he was our, he was our biz dev guy at the time. Yeah. Uh, and, and he kind of kicked the idea off and I think we were all kind of on board with it. We were like, yeah, I mean, like the change will not go down great, but like, I think we, we believe in what we're doing, uh, enough to, and it's popular enough to where we feel like this would be a right, the right business move. And then the reaction was pretty negative, but I was fairly resolute still in mm -hmm. like, nah, I, I, you know, it's going to be bumpy, but I still feel like, you know, this, like the ad money wasn't there at the time. So there really weren't a lot of other options. I was like, yeah, eh, this seems like it's the right. I remember coming in one morning and Tatum going like, all right, let's get rid of it. <laughs> And we'll do this other thing instead. I'm like, I didn't I think didn't he just use it to drive signups? He was I, just like, I, he was like, all right, if we hit if we hit this many signups well, by the, the end of the week, I think, we'll, I think that's I think something he, that's what eventually led to like the world tour ideas yeah. and some of that other stuff. We were we were trying to kick around just a bunch of different ideas for launching like premium at the time, and 
and the the world tour thing was that like 2010 that's probably that's right i don't that know sounds the years run right together. that sounds about I, I remember when i was an intern there was yeah. kind of loose talks about that which was 2011 okay. yeah mm. so maybe this maybe was a little after maybe the world tour was like a one year anniversary thing or something and was, was, i'm misremembering but still a time when it was kind of a radical idea to say that you should pay for yeah. content on yeah. the internet yeah uh for sure and dave snyder always yeah, he old I, vision. I mean, he yeah, definitely he like like Dave fucking knew where, up. knew where he wanted to take things and didn't care if they were in fashion or not. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like he he was definitely the driving force behind like that push to to get into that aspect of the business. Yeah. I think it's something we all kind of knew was eventually going to happen yeah. because I mean, yeah. the company didn't have an ad sales person, right? Like we had that dude Kent that that's came in for right. a while. Kent was like X Game Trailers. God, that's right. And so like we had like the Bioshock Two sponsored quests, yeah. and I think Kent, right. Kent was a part of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was like a Bioshock Two fish tank. Like every thing. F- every few months, we would have some deal. Yeah, like the there was like that Assassin's Adult Creed Swim thing well, that I think came in the NTSF, the NTSF SD, thing, SUV, which I was super against. Uh, I've still, I've still got one of those hoodies with Luchadier dressed up like Ezio. Right? Yeah, I wanted like that. Killing either me or Ryan. I can't remember yeah. which one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, that NTSF thing, I, I was super against because it was like I was there for that. There was, there was like a, it was a here are the people that do the content appearing in a cust- it was custom content. And Ryan hosted it, and I was like, "This is fucking. I don't. I don't want to be anywhere fucking near this thing." Yeah. Uh, and and they did it, and I don't think anyone complained. So you know, it is what it is. But but I, I felt pretty bad about that thing back then. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. We we ended up dropping the the podcast uh, stuff, the the splitting the podcast stuff, and kind of moving forward. Premium did really well for us out of the gate, and and has only grown. And then that's been cool. But yeah, when we got here, uh, the, the bandwidth discussion happened all over again in terms of like people going like, man, this podcast sure does suck a lot of bandwidth. And it was like the most, cr- the great, oh, it drove me <laughs> fucking insane, man. It was like, so you're telling me I'm doing my job. You're telling me that I have created a popular piece of fucking content. It, but it's too popular. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just too much. Just Maybe just dial awesome. it back yeah. a little um, bit. And I was like, well, you should probably sell some ads on this thing then, huh? We should probably figure out how to monetize this uh this incredibly popular piece of content, huh? Right? Uh, and kind of no one could or or would. Uh, and we have ended up going Only to, so many people can sign up for uh, audible.com. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we, so we, yeah. Well, we went with an external ad firm at some yeah. point. It was like, okay, well, we're going to do this stuff ourselves. I feel like the uh, diversity of podcast ads has exploded in the past yeah. year, yeah. let's say. I think Maybe. there are still a ton of, like, I mean, there are a lot of mainstream brands that have, like, only done limited stuff with podcasts. Yeah. Uh, the ads work. I mean, like, that's that's the reaction we get from the company that sells our ads. Uh, and, and also... You know, uh, uh, the people, the folks out there seem to enjoy them to a certain extent. You know, the it's it's the old radio model of the host reading the ad the way Howard Stern probably still does, um, but not like a, a little more thoughtful <laughs> than, than that stuff, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We, we ended up kind of going with an external firm a few years ago and and signed on with them and, and got some actual ads on these podcasts. And... <clears throat> It's been fascinating to watch like the podcast business grow and change uh, over the course of this stuff too, to where now this is this is a pretty big tent pole of our revenue for the the year or whatever, uh, along with with subscriptions, uh, pie charts, pie charts. I like pie. The, the, the yeah, a huge section of the pie <laughs> chart is this podcast. It's a slice. Yeah, um, and and the giant beast cast increasingly as well, mm-hmm. and and that's been. That's been cool to see over yeah. over these five hundred plus weeks weeks of yeah yeah over yeah. these ten years of podcasts that we are about to do we cross have any into. sort of number of how long if you were to listen to all the someone I'm sure somebody yeah, has that you, count some, yeah if cool. folks out there have definitely done the the math on I've, this I've the raw minutes definitely of, seen like four figure numbers floating around yeah, uh, yeah. you would take you a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to to listen to this stuff. That's that's a long time. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll I'll just close by saying that on the way into work, I saw somebody tweet that Kurt Loader is seventy two. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Oh. And that was a real like that's, wow. Yeah. We've, everybody's been doing this for a while. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, when he was on that episode of Portlandia a couple years ago, he looked yeah, pretty good. So yeah, yeah. doing yeah. well for himself. Yeah. Bobby the Brain Heenan just passed away at, at yeah. seventy two, I believe. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's yeah, yeah. I would not have put Kurt Loader and, and Heenan <laughs> at the same age, but yeah. but I guess yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 
Speaking of tent poles, mm -hmm. we got this shirt. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, we're selling a shirt to commemorate the 500th episode of this yeah. podcast yeah. Uh, at store.giantbomb.com. Yeah. If you're watching the video version, uh, I'm holding it up to a camera. Jason, mm -hmm. is, that, is that good there? Oh, yeah. I don't like doing video only stuff for the show, but for, for this case, I'll. Look at that I'll guy. I love the back. Uh, I love balloon really animal. I love the balloon animal lucha. Yeah, tier. that's fucking fantastic. It's so good. I actually super it's like the. Uh, the this this Ooh. bomb with headphones wacky, thing on the front too wacky frantic bomb yeah we might do something else he's with, spending with this, his last with moments yeah. on earth listening yeah. to the giant bomb cast as we all should <laughs> is that another Dan Hour joint yeah, yeah sure. shout yeah, out to Dan Hour yeah, he was Hour's. he was on UPF on Friday yeah. he, he he's been doing a bunch of yeah stuff. he did the Murder Island shirt he did the, yeah. the yeah. heavy metal Luchadier mm -hmm. shirt he does, he does uh, good, well good work for yeah, sure he's done some awesome stuff uh, he is currently in doing mockups and stuff for the site redesign as well yeah. so yeah. Pretty excited about that. Yeah. That'll probably be a next year thing, I'm guessing, but I don't actually know. There's no there's no firm ETA on it. That stuff looks good too. Yeah. Um yeah, so I don't know. We've done five hundred of these things. We're uh on the message boards, uh Rory posted something looking for like people's memories of the show and that sort of stuff. Like I don't think any of us really wanted to just turn this episode into a clip show or anything yeah. weird like that. Um but we do <laughs> It's the worst sitcom move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but we we do want to hear uh, from from y'all about your favorites, and, and maybe we'll try to to piece something together maybe wow. next year. I'm yeah. just thinking about it now. Can you imagine doing a clip show with YouTube being a thing where there's already compilations yeah. out there? Yeah. They, they, YouTube has basically killed yeah. the clip show. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I mean, what, uh, that was the when we first got here. I feel like one of the big ideas that GameSpot was floating at the time was a clip show of YouTube clips, uh, like p pushing, putting together a show of like gaming highlights and stuff like that yeah. from, from other like, channels, from other channels oh. and giving them credit and stuff like that. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and all that, like, yeah, that's yeah, absolutely like the, they're low. I mean, we produce the best of giant bomb, which yeah. is effectively a hostless clip show, yeah. uh, in a lot of ways too. So yep. yeah. Um, Go us, I guess. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like it, it feels like celebrating your own birthday or yes, something. It's like a, it's like a. We talked, we talked before, like the last couple of weeks. I was like, ah, should, how much fanfare should we imbue this with? And yeah. Like, you, you made that analogy of like, you know, it's like having your own birthday party, and I, I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, like, I hate that kind of like. I don't know. If I turned, if I turned five hundred, I would throw a pretty <laughs> fucking good party. Would you, or would you be like, kill me? <laughs> <laughs> This shouldn't have gone on past 100. <laughs> yeah. But episode 1,000, we're pulling out all the stuff. That's where it's going to go. Right. Or, or maybe 520. Then that's it's right. like literally 10 years of regular podcasts at that point. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I that's true. Know. Yeah, I mean, like, you, um, you kind of mentioned earlier, but we're looking more at 10-year stuff. Yeah. Rather than uh, 500 episodes. Yeah, yeah that yeah. stuff is all approaching for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Game of the Year is coming up pretty soon. We yeah. started talking about that. Ooh. Yeah. Shit just keeps going. Yeah. Uh, it don't stop around Indeed. here. So. Indeed.